Hey, good afternoon. So it is 12:30. I think the countdown has started for the, you know, CanSat launch. So I will very brief. So first and foremost, uh, I am very happy to be in the Nagarjuna campus with the management and the senior faculty and the faculty members and my dear young friends who have assembled to witness the CanSat launch and also the formal inauguration of the you know the CubeSat program at the campus as part of the 75 student satellite program. As you all know, as part of my earlier thing, the Apple was built in 1977 to 81, launch was in 81. At that time there was no internet, internet was just getting born at that time only. And only the, you know, the telecom system, I have to book a call, a trunk call and then wait for 8 hours. So that is the kind of thing which we went through. So there was no fax also in those days. So we had only the telex. So with that kind of primitiveness of the means available, my project finally was done at all the six continents and across the seven seas. So now from Fiji to South America to Europe to all kinds of places. So what I'm telling, the means will be a changing, technology will be changing, but fundamentals never change. When I studied engineering, the whole total admission in the country was only 30,000. Tamil Nadu had only 900 seats I, and it was distributed across the districts and I was one among the Coimbatore district, just one seat out of 39. So this is what I think you have to see. Now 1.5 million plus are getting admission to engineering across the country and also sometimes you know the people who are studying abroad also. And we are contributing to the global workforce, not for India alone. I think this is very, very important to keep in mind. So that is global focus, the needs and necessities of the global market we have to capter, you know, cater to. Second is about the technology which is changing. Other day, Dr. Sastrabude and you know, we are a part of one program like this. And there he emphasized the AACT is now advocating the experiential learning, you know, that is the most important thing. And two electives have to be cutting across all disciplines. So the robotics and the satellite program eminently fit that requirement. All departments can participate in this satellite project and also in the robotics project. It is not merely confined to, you know, the computer science people or the ECE people or triple E people. So the, and the very same way, even the electrically driven automobiles, I think they will also become a candidate for this. So this is what I think you will have to think of. Now when I moved to Anna University from the space, at that time as Vice Chancellor, the genesis of the Anusat, Anna University satellite was started and it took almost five to seven years to get the thing built and get into orbit. It was a postman satellite, you know, store and forward was the payload. At one place you dump the data and another place you dump it down. So that was the mission at that time. And it was a 40 kilogram satellite in those days. So compared to that, today we are talking of one kilogram and sub kilogram kind of uh, missions. And the uh, pathway was this, for this kind of thing opened when the Cal Poly, California Polytechnic College, mentored by NASA M Center and Stanford professors, they started how to make it as small as possible and achieve the missions. But they also were allowed to use the decommissioned missiles from the Soviet Union, you know, which will be put under hammer otherwise. So they just fire it off. And with this set of a nominal charge, they used to launch these student built satellites. With the American students built that satellite, Canadians built, and it was launched from the Placid Cosmodrome. So, this is the kind of thing which you will have to think of. So, now the opportunity for what happened in the Kalpali uh, kind of things, all the names which you are now hearing, the you know, the CubeSat kind of standards and the, whether it is the power system or communication system or for the 
payload systems and many many other things they all came from that uh, student teams and kalpali has got the very word exemplified that is experiential learning bartutan who actually made a non stop non refueling kind of you know around the world trip with a composite aircraft that was he was also a student there so like that this kind of things happen and now it is not the elite institutions or ivy league institutions i think you have to keep that in mind not mit boston not stanford not the caltech they are doing other extremes but here the people paved the way for a new way of doing things so i think the i have seen argentinian satellite getting launched from srirakota three students came you know with a backpack 700 gram satellite and then the air station was in another small suitcase and the one boy left you know stay, stayed here for launch and the other two went back to argentina so all the names in the un list of countries you know starting from a to z all the countries in the un list have got student built satellites done and india has also got more than 10 to 12 kind of things so this is what i think now you will have to think of so when an opportunity has been thrown open at nagarjuna for doing things of this kind now we will have to see what is the mission we have got the basic bus which is standardized then we also have the long range communication we also have the iot as part of the thing then beyond that it is up to your imagination to come up with some original and unique payloads so i hope that the teams which are so you watching now in this auditorium other places i think they will come up with original ideas very soon and very quickly and i hope that this beginning which we have made today i think you are is not very far off so i think let it be a beginning of a new way of doing things the new year gift to the students and also to the nation as a whole i think because it will be celebrated all, all across the globe so this is what i would say but the one important thing i would say dr prakash rao is here i was explain to madam that the how he is uh, his review is far more than our phd why want all that <laughs> so i think that is what you will have to think of here the action items have to be acted upon within next day 24 hours 48 hours 72 hours it is not kept for 2 years 3 years kind of thing so this is one important thing which you will have to see and it is not for publishing papers after accomplishment you can come up with a volume you know the experience report can be always published aw does that so this is the kind of thing which you will have to think of and as i was introduced you know the advanced technology and planning which i was heading from ata onwards in the headquarters along with other assignments the you know at cartoon stage for the geosynchronous launcher it started in 19 you know 72 1972 we presented the gslv configuration of a different slightly different model and that was 2500 kilogram in geostationary transfer orbit from srirakota with solid liquid and cryogenic combination and that cartoon has become a reality after two generations of hard work and efforts by my colleagues who are drawn from all over the country the engineering institutions of this great country i am always proud of saying that there is nothing wrong with the indian education system and nothing wrong with the indian engineers also this is i think the self confidence that you have to have is in your own way of doing things but as i said the learning to learn lifelong learning all these are preachers you know we are normally do it in the convocations but here it has to be practiced and that we are doing day in and out so learning from failures is also equally important and i think the students who are going to join in this program maybe they will have to work beyond regular class hours after 5 pm onward they will have to probably spend the time you no know, whole night also they will have to work so this is one of the important things which you will have to see and as dr gopal krishnan said institute of engineer we also made some contribution of 5 lakhs token money for an r and d team at ps institute and that finally blossomed into 
the satellite in orbit. So with 250 student projects got done just with that one single project. So that is another bonus thing which we'll have to think of. So I wish the program all success and let it be just starting point for maybe finally Nagarjuna having their own campus factories producing space quality products from here. Thank you. So, so thank you so much. All the best to you.